You know, ultrasonics are well understood technology in manufacturing. Uh, there are projection welding, stud welding, there are multiple applications for ultrasonics in both polymer and metallic systems. But what about additive manufacturing? I'm with Mark Norfolk, he's president and CEO of Fabrisonic. And Mark, I understand that you've got an additive manufacturing technology that uses ultrasonics. Tell me about it. Yeah, that's exactly right. What we're doing is we're taking thin foils of metal and we're ultrasonically welding those together layer by layer to 3D print apart. So what we have is we have a, a proprietary patented design. It's a roller, so it actually rolls over the foil and as it's rolling, it's vibrating back and forth, giving us the scrubbing action we need to make the, the bond. Kind of the, the great thing about ultrasound is it's low temperature. This part never got above, say, 200 F. So from a material properties standpoint, the material properties coming in, and the material properties going out are exactly the same. Also because of the low temperature, you can do things like combine dissimilar metals in the same part without forming intermetallics or having metallurgical consequences that you don't want. Uh, so this part we have aluminum and we also have copper um, in the same part. That's traditionally pretty difficult to do. Another item that we've done in the past is embed electronics and sensors into a solid metal part. Because the 3D printing is such a low temperature, we can come in, drop a sensor in, and continue to weld layer by layer right over top of that sensor without damage. Here we have a fiber optic, um, so we're sending a laser light all the way through a metal part and out the other end. That's kind of cool, it's kind of neat to see, but from an engineering perspective, you can use that same fiber optic to measure strain or load anywhere in a part. So we're printing these in the, say, the leading edge of a wing or in a spar of a wing so that uh, you can get continuous data out of your, your structure for health monitoring. You mean I could put a strain gauge actually inside the bulk metal of like a wing spar? Anywhere in the part that you want, we can print that in. Wow, and uh, in terms of fiber optics, of course we think historically is that you, your engineering channels or, or, or guide or, or waveguide, sure. things you gotta route inside structures yeah. to get that thing through. In this case, you're actually embedding it materially. I mean, is, 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 when you say embedded, we mean these fiber, these optical fibers are actually encased entirely within the metal. They're completely encased. Under a high power ultrasound, there's something called the Boschinger effect, but essentially metal flows really well under ultrasound. So we're actually extruding metal all the way around that fiber. So that fiber's completely encapsulated in metal. What we're actually doing is taking an off the shelf CNC mill and adding our weld head to it. So because we have the CNC mill, we're using standard G-code to, to drive the machine, to drive the motion. And we'll come in with thin foils and print them first side by side, and then on top of each other in a kind of a brick laying pattern to build up a three dimensional shape. Um, the way we do it is we print near net shape. So we print just a little bit bigger than we need. And then we use the CNC milling tools to clean up the outside. We're also using the CNC tools on the inside. So any internal features, you mentioned a waveguide, those need to be fairly high precision and very high quality surfaces. Mm -hmm. All the internal passages we make for waveguides are all CNC mill. And uh, how large a component can you make um, with your current technology? So, in-house, our current uh, largest machine has a six foot by six foot by three foot capacity. Um, outside of our environment, we have customers who've put them on different motion systems. So they've taken our welding device and put it on a robot, and that robot has a much larger envelope I can't dis disclose. Mm -hmm. um, if you've heard of a fiber placement machine, mm -hmm. those are used in the uh, aerospace industry. Uh, to wrap, say, carbon fiber around a very complex mold. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also put our weld heads on a fiber placement machine. So the, the welding technology is really our core. We'll put it on any motion system you want. Um, In-house, our current is six by six, but there are much larger parts being made. Now you mentioned advanced aerospace industry. What industries could benefit from this technology? So we got our start in aerospace. Um, we do a lot of aerospace aluminums. That's, that's where our core started from. Uh, but we're starting to, to branch out. We're doing a lot of work in the oil and gas patch. Um, consumer electronics. Uh, we're doing a, a lot with um, trying to develop the automotive and, and the highway vehicle market. I'd say that's all in the development stage right now, but the, there's a good path forward on, on a lot of those industries. Ultrasonic additive manufacturing that allows dissimilar materials and embedded electronics, says Mark Norfolk of Fabrisonic.